So I wanted to share with you some of the results from that report and share actual seven trends that are driving social media marketing and because these are things that you might want to pay attention to and consider using, implementing in your business uh, this year so that you can use social media in a better way to be able to reach your target audience and to generate more leads and sales for your business. So let's dive right into it. Here's the, the first trend is that social media increases exposure and traffic. And the result of the survey from all these marketers, uh, they, they surveyed I know several hundred marketers, uh, actually maybe even a thousand, I'll have to <laughs> double check that for you. But essentially 89% uh, of the marketers surveyed said that social media did increase exposure uh, for their business. And 75% found that social media increased traffic to their websites. So you can see that it's definitely, social media is effective at helping you to be able to connect with your target audience. So if you're for some reason still, you know, not so sure about whether you need to go full on into using social media, um, I hope these statistics will help convince you that you should really consider doing something about it. The second trend is creating visual assets. There's a huge focus. A large majority of marketers, 70%, plan on increasing original visual assets this year. So this is something that you need to think about. Do you have a visual strategy for your business? This could be something like uh, using Pinterest for your business. Pinterest has really been shown to have a big in impact in driving sales, actually, more than Facebook, believe it or not. So you maybe start thinking about what kind of images could I create uh, and pin onto Pinterest boards. Or maybe you might want to consider, you know, starting and launching an account with Instagram and photos of your business and, and posting them on Instagram. A lot of businesses are starting to use Instagram uh, to be able to Another uh, way to use visual assets could be creating infographics. Infographics over the last few years have gotten to be a really uh, powerful marketing tool when they're used the right way to be able to really uh, kind of crystallize some, some sort of use, useful information about your business or trends or something and make it easy to see in a graphic form. So that's something that you, uh, you might want to just start thinking about is how, how can I in include more visual images into my social media marketing. Now the third trend is uh, blogging is going to be a big focus in 2014. And 58% of the marketers say that original written content is the most important form of content for the business. And this is something that I've been preaching for a long time is that the core of your social media marketing really should start with a blog because this is what you have control of. This is what you can implement on your website so that when you're adding fresh content to your blog on a regular basis, you're going to help keep your website up in the Google rankings. Plus, you're, it gives you an opportunity to be able to demonstrate your uh, expertise in your particular industry so that it helps to be able to uh, you know, attract new clients and, and prospects to your business. And the other reason is that blogging is so important is because then, as I said, this is like the core of your social media marketing. You can then take those blog articles and you can share them on Facebook. You can share them with your contacts on LinkedIn. Hopefully you're adding some good images to your blogs and, and brand them with your website and then pin those images on your Pinterest board. I repurpose those blogs into video blogs and upload them onto YouTube. There's so much information that you, so many ways that you can use a blog to promote your business that it's really, if you haven't started one, you really should start a blog right away. Now the fourth trend is Google Plus is topping marketers curiosity list. and. Uh, in the report, uh, Michael Stelzner gave an example of Helmet City on uh, Google+, and they are doing a great job of creating unique content and generating real sales because of it. The days of ignoring Google+, are pretty much over. 
I hate to say it, <laughs> I was a, I was reluctant myself. I, I in fact I even wrote a blog article about it uh, probably what, two or three years ago, I guess, when Google Plus first came out and said, "No, I'm not getting on the Google Plus bandwagon." Well, guess what? I'm I'm drinking the Kool Aid now. Sorry, guys. Uh, but the th the thing is, the you just can't ignore it because it's Google. It Google is still the most popular search engine out there. And if you want to be able to have your content show up, particularly if you're blogging, Google Plus is important because you can link your blog, you put the URL in your Google Plus profile and it links it so that when you're writing articles and someone types in some sort of word, keyword related to that content, that article is going to pop up with your picture. So that visual element is going to be there and it's really going to be powerful in helping you to be able to attract new, uh, new prospects and new leads to your business. So you really need to start at least, if nothing else, just for, for SEO purposes, I highly recommend that you start getting a presence on Google+. The fifth trend is podcasting podcasting rising. Currently only 6% of marketers podcast, but 28% want to improve their knowledge and, and fully a third of marketers want to start podcasting. I know for me, I'm definitely considering this myself. I'm, I'm okay. I'm late to the, I'm late to the technology in some, in some instances, I've just started listening to podcasts and putting them on my phone and listening to them in the car while I'm, you know, driving places and I am just really loving it. So if there's a way that you can somehow work a podcast, uh, again, this could be maybe repurposing some of your blog material into a podcast. You should definitely give it some thought because it is really becoming a, a really powerful method of uh, being able to connect with people. Because here's here's another reason why is that you know there's 300 million iPhone users, so that's that's a potential audience. I mean, naturally you're not going to necessarily reach all 300 million people at the beginning, but that's still a huge audience. And and plus all the uh, major car dealers are starting to, you know, they're making deals to be able to have uh, CarPlay, which is a way to be able to, I think, more easily access these podcasts. So it's definitely something that you want to, you want to consider doing. The sixth trend is deals with, well, Facebook ads, dominating social. I know you may be tired of hearing about Facebook ads, but, um, 90% of them are regularly using them and f of marketers and 49% say that Facebook is the most important way to be able to reach their their target audience you know specifically through ads and unfortunately you know Facebook is making it very difficult to organically reach your uh, your fans through the news feed you're you're just not getting those those posts are just just not getting the reach that they used to so, you know, it's sad to say, but if you've got something really important, especially if you're, you know, if you've got a special sale that you're doing or you're launching a new product or you're, you're having an event, something special is going on. That's the time that you should consider running some Facebook ads. They're still fairly inexpensive and you can really target, really niche down and target specifically your particular target audience. So it is something to consider and I would you know, definitely think about, especially, like I said, when you've got some kind of special deal coming up, that's when you want to uh, spend some money, invest it, because the ROI in Facebook ads can be really, really huge. Now, of course, the other trend, though, is that the social return on investment remains a mystery, and that's, tr that's, that is sort of the frustrating part, I think, for a lot of, especially small business owners, is they, they just don't understand the return on investment. They don't see it. it. It is a little grayer. You know, it's in a gray area. It's kind of hard to quantify. But I will say that if you continually you know, spend some effort on growing a following and sharing quality information, you, you're you're going to reap the benefits of it. You are going to get more people interested in what you have to say, interested in your products and services, and it is going to really, truly benefit you. 
Now, I did want to share something interesting also about this. You know, all of these trends that were covered in this report were also explored recently at Social Media Marketing World, a conference that was held out in San Diego. And it was put on by Michael Stelzner of Social Media Examiner. And I actually attended this conference last year, and it was tremendously worth the investment of my time and money to fly out there because there were all sorts of the, the gurus in, in dealing with different types of social media, the you know, LinkedIn experts and Twitter and Pinterest. I, I met people like Mari Smith, who's a big Facebook person. Guy Kawasaki was there. Um, Chris Brogan, Mark Schaefer, who wrote the book uh, The Tao of Twitter. Really, really excellent quality content was presented there with concrete tips and strategies that I was able to take home last year and implement in my own business and to help my clients as well. So if you would like to get more information about all of these trends, and these were all covered in that conference, so it, it, it's over now, but here's the good thing, is that you can get access to all of the conferences, all of the information that they had. It was over 80, over 80 social media marketing sessions had covered all these range of topics and you can listen to all of those sessions at home at your leisure from now you know through the next year anytime you want to if you click if you go to this link and I'm going to have it in the description below the video you'll get more information about how to be able to get this uh, virtual access pass to social media marketing world so I, I bought it last year and it was it really was worthwhile and I highly recommend that you check it out. So you got nothing to lose. You can at least at least read about it and check it out. So I hope you've enjoyed this little little kind of mini session here on uh, social media trends and I look forward to uh, talking with you again soon. Take care.